Hey YouTube, hey YouTube, hey! Uh, it's the weekend, what better way to kick off the weekend with a brand new motherfucking Game of Thrones trailer, okay? Uh, you can't ask for more. It's uh, premiering on the 12th of April, I believe. The series is coming back then. Uh, the trailer was leaked online yesterday because a couple of people went to see the, the uh, Game of Thrones episodes in IMAX and then videoed the trailer and then HBO, whoever, thought, okay, let's just release the goddamn trailer then. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's uh, yeah, it's only it's a little two minutes long. It's not really a teaser, but it's still pretty kick-ass. Uh, it gives us enough to wet our whistle for the time being. Um, so yeah, so it starts off. Uh, you see Jimmy Lannister um, sort of standing over Tywin's body in the crypt there in the Citadel, and uh, you know that that's going to be one of the big things. I've read the books but i am still you know that doesn't mean i i don't profess to know everything especially where the show is concerned in this season i believe they're gonna do more than they did in the in the books book five is kind of a whole lot of nothing in a lot of places if they can just fill that nothing with something exciting or really intriguing then hey i'm all for it um uh, so yeah, uh, that, that's going to be one of the big things. Tywin's death, as with Joffrey's death last season, um, it's you take away the most powerful member in, uh, you know, on the board, uh, power player there, and you know, nature aboards a vacuum. So it's going to be a case of well, who's calling the shots now? And the, and uh, officially, it's it's uh, it's Tommen, but he's not very effective. He's like the Ralph Wiggum of Westeros, basically. Loves kittens, not very bright. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, no. So it's uh, there's, there's going to be a real power play between uh, Marjorie and Cersei. That's not really teasing the trailer, but I know that happens. Um, going on, we see a lot more of the wildlings. We see a lot of some wildling people going into boat, going into the sea. Um, we uh, there's a lot more of Melisandre at the wall, which was sort of teased at uh, the end of the last season, where just uh, there's a there's a moment where she and Jon Snow exchange a look over the fires, and that's. Uh, Kind of very pregnant with meaning there. Um, that's so yeah. That that's that's gonna be pretty cool. No Stannis. I'm disappointed with that. Stannis. Is, uh, Stannis has a big part to play in in the uh, moments to come, in episodes to come, and he's quickly becoming one of my favorite characters just because he's competent. You know, I'll follow anyone if they know what they're doing, and that's uh, and not everyone in Game of Thrones does that. Bearded Tyrion. Tyrion beard. Um, we don't know how long he's been in that box for. But he's been in there a while, and he's grown himself a little badass beard. He gets out, and Varys and him are just walking along, and he's sort of resigned himself to this life of exile. Now he's like, "All right, well, this is it." But Varys is like, "No, no, no, my man. Look, you know, you're you're a talented man, and we will need men of talent in the war to come. You can help supply. You can help uh, set somebody else up on the Iron Throne. You know." Mm. Uh, so yeah, so that's interesting. Uh, we see, we see Bri Brienne like slicing her finger and dropping some blood into something. We don't know what that's about, but uh, yeah, that'll hopefully that pays off. Um, some more of Tommen and Marjorie. They get married. That's happening. We see a bit of their wedding. Uh, we see what else? Do, 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 do. More of the wildlings. The Lord of the Bo the Lord of Bones comes back. You know the guy with like the skull face from season two. Uh, he kind of hasn't been seen since, but he comes back, evidently, leading a small army. We see Jon Snow, like, charging, going, with me! Ah! And then, yeah, so that happens a bit. Um, maybe we see some more mammoths and giants, pretty please? Hmm? Um, what else, what else? We didn't see any more of the dire wolves. We saw a little bit of Arya, a little bit of Arya approaching the house of black and white, which, um, you know... As you, which is where she was headed to, if she didn't know it or not. By uh, as soon as she gave that coin and said Valor Morghulis to the guy in the boat, that's that's where she was. That's the only place he was going to drop her off. Uh, I will not get into that. Um, little shot of her just picking up needle by the waterside. That's pretty cool. Different clothes too. So you know, a lot of a lot more of uh, Sansa uh, and Littlefinger. The bit where he where he tells her there's no justice in this world unless we make it. That's very prophetic. It's kind of like, you know, yeah, it's um, it's like this is a cruel, unfair world, but we don't need to make it that way. Or we don't, you know, we don't have to stand for that. It's uh, again, he's a uh, he's the devil on her shoulder, you know. He's just sort of preaching her these high and noble words, but you know, we all know what game he's playing, or do we? Well, we can assume he's cool. 
Um, let me see. Do 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 do. Red Dead Virus. Uh, a lot more virus. A uh, lot of lots of shots of Tyrion. We see Bronn. Uh, fighting some guys on horseback. We see uh, Sir Jorah Mormont coming back and fighting some guys in like a big arena, like a big pit. So that's cool, like a gl gladiator battle. Cool. Uh, some shots of the Sand Snakes. You know, over in Martell, the guy you know over in Martell. The, you know, the the Red Viper of Dorne. Well, we see some more of his family, uh, the Sand Snakes, his, uh, his bastard daughters. We get a glimpse of his brother, I believe, at one stage. Um, there's that really cool shot of a guy with a you know there's a basket in the sand and she whips the basket off and there's a guy's head and there's a scorpion coming towards it it's like ah i wouldn't want to be that guy um and uh here we see no shots of bran or hodor but as we've learned before they're retiring from this season they're taking a season out which is okay because uh the the show has officially caught up to the books so that's okay they can sit this one out now that means whenever they come back it'll be all the more exciting uh, let me do, 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 do. And, well, okay, I'm sort of, uh, I've watched it so many times and I'm just kind of drawing a blank right now. It's so embarrassing. But um, really sort of, it comes to a moment, we get like a, not a money shot, but like a money monologue where uh, Varys just talks about the type of leader that uh, Westeros needs right now. And Tyrion just turns to him and says, well, good luck finding him. He goes, who said anything about him? Daenerys. Shot of Daenerys. So that's cool. Crossover. That'll be interesting, um, because you know you want to, you know you want those guys to meet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, um, and then we the final shot is of the golden harpy of Marine just being pulled off the pyramids and toppling to the ground. Uh, we see a lot of guys in masks all the way throughout the throughout the trailer. I don't know who they're supposed to be. Uh, possibly the sons of the harpy for my book bros out there. Um, so that'll be that. You know that's a, that's a good money shot. Um, yeah, man. We get a little bit of a little, like, mini second of dragon fire. Maybe that's just, you know, it looks like it's coming in under the dark, so maybe it's Daenerys going to visit the dragons that she locked up at the end of the last season. You know, could be that. Um, But yeah, uh, 12th of April cannot come soon enough. I am excited. I hope you're excited. Um, those are my thoughts on the uh, Game of Thrones Season 5 trailer. Please share your down below. If you like this video, click like, subscribe, share, like, and all the usual jazz. And uh, otherwise, have a good weekend.